And the House of Representatives has, as a matter of urgent public importance, urged the federal government to seek support from the international community in combating the disease. The motion moved by Honorable Derry Doye notes that the outbreak of monkeypox needs to be immediately contained. He was concerned about the admission by health authorities that test samples cannot be confirmed in Nigeria. The House now wants Health Minister Isaac Audewale to immediately appear before it to give an update. For results to invite the Honorable Minister of Health to explain the alarming situation of how a country as vast and resourced as Nigeria will depend on a laboratory in Dakar, Senegal to analyze samples at such a critical time of national health crisis. And statistics show that one case of monkeypox has been recorded in Akwaibom State and 13 persons suspected to be affected by the viral disease are on admittance in hospitals in neighboring Bayelsa and River States. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Joseph Onigbinde joins us now on the news to tell us more on what preventive measures should be taken to curb the interstate spread of monkeypox. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, now, now I, I begin to wonder when Nigeria might get this right. Every time we have such disease like this one, we always have to depend on other countries to help us test samples, to help us get um, a solution to this. Why does this keep happening? But it's very sad. <clears throat> And we think uh, that uh, monkeypox is not a new visitor to Nigeria, mm -hmm. makes us uh, sadder. You know, this is the third time it's coming to Nigeria. 1970 was here, 1978 was here. Now we are caught napping. It is very, very sad. Like you mentioned, it is poor. It is uh, very, very disheartening to know that Nigeria has to depend on external agencies to be able to diagnose simple things like uh, monkeypox infection and other infections. It shows that we are just not serious in this country. That's just, we, are, we are playing with our health. And let's get on to the nitty gritty. How critical is it actually? What are the implications of um, Nigeria not being able to test um, for monkeypox in the country? What can it result to? What's the worst of that course, could happen? Of course, you continue, you continue have to have the infection spread amongst the community. And when you are not able to establish the diagnosis uh, on, on time, time you are not sure whether it's monkeypox or something else. You, uh, you are not careful to continue to spread. That's why I say we are just joking with the health of our, uh, of our community. Uh, apart from, don't think that the Senegalese are the people, they are the owner of the laboratory. It is WHO laboratory. Mm. But as big as Nigeria is at this time, we should have a standard laboratory, not even one, we should have 10 standard laboratories in this country. But we are not focusing on our, on our, infect, on our health. We rather think of security. So if, if people are not healthy, how can they fight? If our soldiers are not healthy, how will they fight? So we have relegated the issue of health to the background. Health and education in this country is um, almost nil now, and it's very sad. Now, I've now, never seen like this in this country since I was born, or you know, maybe just a few years old. ago. Okay, let's talk about. Um, do you think um, people, not, this is not being taken seriously because it's been termed a milder version of chicken pox? Uh, monkey pox? Well, you, monkey pox, like you said, is just because it was found in monkey. That's where it got its oh. name from. So it's all the symptoms that are very similar to smallpox, but a little bit is milder than, the, uh, than uh, smallpox. That's what you have in monkeypox. It was discovered in 1958 when they had two colonies of uh, monkeys that are set aside for research. They found uh, small, uh, something like a smallpox amongst them. That's where it got this monkeypox something. But you now see that it can be transmitted to human beings too. 1970 in uh, DRC and then Nigeria also in 1971 and 1978 to had this. So, my problem with Nigeria is that if we know we can have certain things, right. it's a sporadic infection mostly in uh, African countries, mm. although it has once spread to, I mean, it was taken to U.S. Um, you expect that mm. people who play with pets and all that, so you should expect such, such mm. things. 
when one looks at the security situation in the, con in the world, rather, um, with uh, Britain already preparing for war because of the t tension between the U.S. and North Korea, North Korea, one begins to wonder when a country like Nigeria will begin to prepare for, for cases war. like this, no, cases like this in the health sector <laughs> before the diseases even arrive, you know, putting measures, preventive measures in place to um, curb the situation. But let's get down to um, who is at risk of monkeypox? What are those um, critical uh, situations Science. one should become aware of not to get infected? Yeah, first of all, let's know that the monkeypox is from the monkeypox virus, which is just like a, a variola virus that you have in smallpox. Um, but it's found mainly, nobody knows actually the natural habitat of this uh, virus, but rodents, mm. squirrels, monkeys, and some of these mammals are suspected to, to house it. So people who play with animals, especially animals that look sick, they have the tendency to, to pick it. And then- Not just monkeys. Not just monkeys. Right. It's not only monkeys, even squirrels, even rodents, even rats can house it, can have it. You know, monk, it's called monkey pox because monkeys were infected mm -hmm, themselves. Mm -hmm. So anybody who plays with all these things, or people who eat you know, this bush meat that are not properly cooked. Mm. And I haven't said that, people preparing the, the, the bush meat itself can put Stay you at here. risk mm -hmm. if you are not wearing your gloves and so just playing with you know, you know, all these animals. And so, so we have to, people who prepare meat, meat and people who eat from outside especially, mm. uh, we have to be careful. These are people who are susceptible to the yeah, infection. But at home, if you have rodents, how do you prevent your, or save yourself from getting infected? I mean, does it... You don't touch rodents. No, the excreta or just Yes, rodents? excreta, yes, the excreta, the droppings from... So we, I think it's personal hygiene is also very important. Personal hygiene is important, and then as much as possible, you can drive rodent away from us. Right, so and hand washing and all hand of that. Hand washing, so. very, 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 very crucial. All right, we'll leave it here for now. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Joseph Onigbindi, thank you very much for the tips on the news. Hour.